Hi friends, we are going to be doing our lesson number two, Survival of Groups. This starts on page 224 and goes until 231. Survival of Groups, <clears throat> page 224. Sports Connection. It is a sunny day. You are stranded by the side of the road waiting for a bicycle race to go by. You hear cheering. You see brightly colored shirts appear. <coughs> Excuse me. Soon, a line of bike racers zooms past you. The racers all follow closely behind each other. They race like this because the bikers use energy to move the air in front of them out of the way. The air slows them down. By drafting or riding closely behind each other, the racers can save their energy and go faster. At certain times of the year, <clears throat> excuse me, at certain times of the year, you may see large flocks of birds flying in V-shaped patterns. They are drafting too. The lead bird makes the air easier for other birds to fly in. Evaluate. Circle the cyclist you think is using the most energy. And that would be the first one in line. <clears throat> Page 225, you, invest, you investigate lab. Okay, the materials you'll need for this is an electric fan, a square sheet of paper, and safety goggles. <laughs> okay. How do some birds fly so far? Scientists study how groups of animals help each other. Why do these birds often fly in a V shape? Traveling in a V shape helps birds fly long distances. Procedure. Fold a sheet of paper in half so that it makes a V shape. Hold it straight in front of the fan your teacher provides or you have one. It is easy or is it easy or difficult to hold the paper straight? Record your observations. Use your V-shaped paper and three or more V-shaped papers of other classmates or your family. Place them in front of the fan in different ways. Record your observations of how easy or difficult it is to hold the page papers straight. Okay, so in this picture I drew, here you are standing alone and you're somewhat close to the fan. Hold on tight when you're close to the fan. And then in a group situation, the person that's closest to the fan has to hold it tight. But as you go farther away, you you can loosen your grip farther away because it's not so, it doesn't push the paper out of your hand so much. Analyze and interpret data. Use evidence. Number three. Does your evidence support the claim that migra migrating in flocks helps geese survive? Explain. Remember, we use the words in the question in our answer. Migrating in flocks helps geese survive because a bird will use less energy to migrate when it is not leading the flock. <coughs> And if you watch some of the geese fly, you'll notice that the lead um, bird will drop out of formation and somebody else will take the lead while they relax. Okay, page 226, Visual Literacy Connection. Why do animals form groups? Some animals form groups to survive in their environment. This allows them to share food, protect each other, and help take care of young ones. So the important parts of that sentence was share food, protect each other, and help take care of young ones. Number one, protect. There is safety in numbers for baboons. Some members of the group eat while the others look out for trouble. Number two, keep warm. Even the worst weather in the planet is, n is no problem with a group effort. 
Emperor penguins share body heat and protect one another from the wind. Um, on page 227, number three, capture prey. Some predators work together to help capture prey that is much larger than themselves. Number four, raise young. Elephants form herds or groups. Most female elephants help raise and protect each other's young. And the last one, number five, share work. Leaf cutter ants work together to feed their colony. So it says draw, an, draw another group of animals that you know that lives or works as a group. Penguins, baboons, wolves, elephants, and ants. Do you like my picture of the picnic ants taking the cupcake and the watermelon? Okay. Page 228. <coughs> the header at the top is in green. It says animal groups. Animals must do many tasks to stay alive. They must find food and avoid predators. They must raise their young. Many animals do not have much time in the day to rest. In groups, animals can help each other with all of these tasks. Making a group, making a group can give animals an advantage. An advantage is anything that helps the animal. Animals have many ways of living in groups. Orca whales may live in small family groups. Prairie dogs live in groups with many families. Caribou herds in Alaska can have hundreds of thousands of animals. Big or small groups can make animal lives easier. Hypothesis. What are some reasons why forming a group might not be an advantage for animals. It is a disadvantage as a group of animals might be easier for predators to see. Mm -hmm. Quest connection. Do you think living in groups is an advantage or disadvantage for animals living near a pond? Answer your question. Animals living near a pond is, disad is a disadvantage. If the pond dries up, all the animals living in a group will be trying to get the same limited water and food. <coughs> Page 229. Some animals make groups to survive changes in their environment. When seasons change, Many groups of animals move to a new place. They migrate to places that better meet their needs during that season. When animals migrate, they move to a different place. Canadian geese migrate south together every fall. These geese reach their destination more easily by working together Explain, how can these meerkats, I'm sorry, meerkats help one another? Meerkats help one another by having some, by having some, can watch for, oh, by having some watch for danger while others eat. And I think we studied these with our children's museum experiment. Okay. Lesson two, check number one. What causes some animals to migrate? Some animals migrate because in winter, little food is available. The animals move to warmer places where more food is available. Number two, why do some animals live in groups? Some animals live in groups so that they can help one another find food or protect themselves from predators. Page 230. Let's get together. The pond ecosystem is <clears throat> home to many different types of animals. Some of those animals live in groups. Choose a pond animal that lives in a group. What is the advantage of living in a group for these animals? Canadian geese live in groups for protection from predators and to help raise their young. 
Do you think that forming a group can help your animal survive in a pond ecosystem as it changes? Explain your answer. I think f forming a group will help because they can leave together to find a new place to live. Top of page 231. Solve with science. How can a spider stay underwater all day long? The diving bell spider spends most of its life underwater. It cannot breathe naturally underwater. At the surface, the spider traps an air bubble in, in the hairs on its back. It can use the air... And, oh, excuse me. It can use the air in the bubble to breathe. By staying underwater, the spider avoids land predators. It can also hunt prey that land spiders cannot hunt. Now, put on your reasoning hats. What do you think would happen if one spider had more hair than another spider? Which would be better able to survive? Use evidence from the passage to write your science-based claim. The spider with more hairs would survive better because it would have a bigger air bubble. A spider that has a bigger bubble does not need to go to the surface as often. So, it has less of a chance of being seen by predators. It can also spend more time hunting. All right, friends. Nice job. Kiss your brain.